Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do a love quickie for you. So it's going to be a really quick reading. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, thank you Lord God for blessing Gemini with the message. Alright, so let's see what's going on. Oh, the Five of Swords. Ooh, coming out the gate, swinging, cursing, fighting. Don't go to jail. Um, ooh, then the Eight of Cups. Okay, so... You leave before the police get there. So anyway, um, you walking away from this. You just like I, I can't deal. Um, you could have some people in the home that was stirring up trouble within your connection because it's like interference here. Um, the Ace of Wands here with the pay. You're fired up about going off on somebody or saying something you want to say to someone. You are determined here. You could be away from home too. Um, the Queen of Wands, yeah, this is you, uh, Gemini. Look, if somebody's coming to you or traveling to you, um, you got some choice words for them. The Three of Pentacles, this could be like a long-term love affair, booty call. They come and see you. The Chariot card, um, yeah, they drive to you or something like that. They're saying that they miss you and they want to be with you. But they're not offering you much with the Four of Cups here. It's always like less than or, or they don't want to do what you want to do. Or they're so self-centered. They always want what they want. The Ace of Pentacles here. They always want to have sex with you. The Seven of Swords. Yeah. They want to have you as the other person here. They, they want to run from one situation and come to you. And then run back. The Seven of Discs here. You feel like you put in so much time, energy, work with this person. That y'all should have more than that. Or they should treat you better than that. Uh, the Seven of Wands here too. Ooh, seven, seven. All right, so you're protected here. And it's like you're trying to protect yourself, too. You're standing your ground in regards to what you think about this person and what they're trying to do. They may be trying to come in and just kind of shake your world up and shake shit up for you um, in whatever the hell you got going on for you and, and start something else. They want you to just be carefree and put uh, all of your routine and your regimens down for them. Just do this. Come over here. Do that. Um yeah, as they have you as an option here, where they offer so little to you, and it's it has become toxic, and it's become burdensome because it's a comp, it's a relationship where y'all don't have any set rules or uh, status or title. It's just a whole bunch of doing shit. I'll see you next week. Okay, next week comes. Oh, okay, I'll see you the week after next. Okay, so what the fuck are we doing? And that's when it becomes toxic and it becomes um, a burden here. Yeah, what did I tell you? The hand of the page of swords. Like you're trying to refrain from cursing them out and you really want justice. You want them to do right by you. You want them to choose you. Um, you know that a choice needs to be made. And if they don't make it, the universe is going to make it for them by maybe even sending you somebody else. Yeah, the king of cups and the temperance card. Um, you're trying to compromise with this person, but you know that you're not the only love in their life. Even though they're trying to make it seem like you are, they try to put you up on a pedestal. But you know, with the three of cups, they got other bitches. Um, the five of pentacles here, yeah, they just leave all the time. And it, when they leave, they leave you in a place of confusion or feeling lack or like this is not going anywhere. Like... They just kind of like ignore you or you ignore them. I don't know. The Ten of Pentacles here because they also have a family somewhere else. The Nine of Swords, they leave you in a place of um, always questioning. Questioning yourself. Questioning what you're doing with them. Maybe even um, your sleep patterns being messed up because you can't go to sleep. Because you're thinking about what they're doing or what they're not doing. Or did they text you back or are they going to text you or call you back. You're waiting for bullshit. Waiting for communication with the Three of Wands. See, it says you just need to let this go. You need to put a rest to this and end to this. You already got suspicion that this person is cheating on you. Or when they're not with you, they're doing something else. Or at night, when they don't, you don't hear from them, they're with somebody else. The, it says yes, that is the truth. Um, put yourself first, okay? You may have the title as a girlfriend, but they damn sure ain't giving you the girlfriend experience. Or the boyfriend experience. Um, you got to be strong enough to walk away from this. And put yourself first. Have the courage to just say, you know, enough is enough. It, this is not enough, so I have to go. All right? So this is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates for you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Also, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.